Stigi. Speaky Visim. Lavas. Hello everyone, my name is Anela and today we're gonna be editing some of my taken images from a recent photo shoot that I did with my friends and it's for a lingerie brand. The brand is Yure Yure. If you like to get something, you can always do that, support Lithuanian brands, businesses and they do everything by hand. These pictures are very beautiful and fairy and all of that. I had two outfits and one of the outfit I have already edited and it was more like flowery and all and the other one was more like a pattern, like a tiger. You'll see. It's it's pretty funny because I'm wearing this uh, like white shirt to look, you know, appropriate. I even did my makeup and hair. I changed my hair because it's growing out. However, I'm wearing no pants, just sports shorts. And I never worked at the office, so I don't know what happened during the pandemic. But this is a vibe. I really like it. So I selected three images. Maybe I'll start with this one. I really love this type of editing. I never show you how I retouch images, but that's one of my favorite things. You know, I always start with frequent separation, which I already have in action. It was amazing to do this photo shoot, mostly because I had a team that have helped me to do it. And I think without it, I would not have done it. I got introduced to this girl, Milda, from my friend, this friend that you see. Milda helped me to produce the shoot and organize the times and everything. And that's like one of the things that I am so bad at. So it was nice that someone helped me out. And she was filming it too. Um, so we have some behind the scenes. Oh, my computer is picking up the speed. I usually just play some Ariana Grande or today was Lord um, and I sing along and edit just brushing it and brushing it and brushing it I didn't don't want to overdo it. I also use this plugin portraiture and I apply this on this layer. I have it as a shortcut as well as an action. So one of the other photographers told me this thing. This is nice. I can turn on the texture. So this is already so much better. Because I apply so many textures, I don't really need to edit the face perfectly. And it's nice to leave some things. So I have frequency separation, that's done. And I combine those two. I like my images 4x5. It started out because of the Instagram 4x5 four, four sizing, but at the same time, I feel like it gives that vintage style more in a square something about it you see it, like the portraiture smoothens it out maybe I will go to camera raw filter which I didn't do before because I forgot but I want to apply the gradient mask should have done this before but this will do and now I will start with curves I want my image to be on the darker side and I want to bring out some vintage feeling to it. I feel like at gigs and like parties, I can play around more. Like with colors, I can experiment. But with something natural like this, I want to keep it as natural as I can. Oh, I forgot the grain, of course. It's a little bit too much for me, so I'll stick to like eight. Now I need to apply some of the textures. I'll apply a texture from my texture pack. You can get them on my website, there is a link below. I always apply some kind of adjustment layer for it. This darkens the highlights and you can see some you now paper crumbles. It, it, it is not crumbles, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. Bends, you know, the flip, you flip it, you know what I mean? What has been happening recently? Recently, nothing much has been happening apart from this shoot and I did some other photo shoots for an artist, Monikaze. I think it might maybe out and if not, it will be sometime soon. That was a shoot where I had to 
had to light everything myself, which is always a challenge for me. But I think I might be getting better at it. And I'm starting to like this challenge. But I always think that, you know, I want to be a photographer. I don't want to be a gaffer. And if there is someone who loves doing lights, may they do it, please. Because I believe that that way you can get better results. Because everyone does what they are good at rather than, you know, trying to figure out how to do things. You know what I think? That this would look better if you wouldn't be able to see. I did not expect this. This is so slow. Whoa. I think this might be it. This is after. This is before. After. Before. After. Before. And this is the after after image that you're seeing that I have edited after I recorded the video and I just wanted to touch up a little bit on highlights and make it even more darker and moodier, make the colors flatter. It's a little bit softer and I like it better. I'll move these textures just because I'll be reusing them so I don't want to do this over and over again and I want to post this. Okay, this time I'll start with camera roll. Um, when we were shooting the first outfit we had sun and unfortunately it hid under the, under the clouds later on. Which is fine, um, but the sun had a different kind of mood and I preferred it that way. However, we did have sun at the very end of uh, this outfit, like the golden hour, but I figured these images were better to edit. I changed some settings in Photoshop today, hoping for the performance to get better, but I think I fucked it up. I think my settings were fine before. Now it's getting weird. It's funny how some days you can talk a lot and others you just have nothing on your mind. I think I got into this trying to work and be as productive mood and then I really have nothing going on. I'm gonna go to Berlin next next week oh well i cannot even tell you that because when this video comes out it's gonna be way later but maybe i can't tell you well i will and i'm going to berlin <laughs> next week no no next week next next week my brain is in the so that will be fun, some more culture to explore, music... I've been feeling quite tired lately from the social life. I feel like I just want to spend more time at home working and chilling and going to the gym and going climbing. Looks good? Looks good. I'm kind of afraid that I have no topics nothing to talk about with people. I listen to conversations of other people by friends and I can't figure out why I don't want to participate in those conversations. Do I just enjoy different kind of talks? Do I not enjoy the talk? Do I need to be interested in what people are talking about? Is it okay to not talk? not participate and engage but then why am i in those settings that make me feel that way should i not be in those settings anymore do i need to find a different crowd i don't know i wish i would know this is so meditative i love this here we go again i'm just gonna cut it a little bit i feel like they are too boxed in in this but i also cannot change it but it's a note for me in the future when i'm taking images i think i should be be standing further apart to give more space <gasps> but i really like portraits like this but then there is no detail i like the detail so maybe it's okay what i'm gonna do this time is i will put a gaussian blur heavier not too heavy this will be okay and using a brush, I will clear it. 
So this gives low. I want her, their faces to be clear. Some detail like flowers can be too. Much better. I like them kind of washed out, but a little bit darker. Could be pretty, but I want to use soft light and see. That's it, and I'll show you before and after. And I think this is gonna be it for the video because I've already reached my limit of 35 minutes. Which is not really my limit, but it's gonna be otherwise a very long video. So much better. Like you have that mood instant. Thank you for watching it, and I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a different content. It's less designy, more of my photography, and less grungy. But I do kind of enjoy this. My brain is literally off. Okay, bye-bye. This needs to be over.